and Hexameter. When I cried to the Lord, he heard my voice. He rescued me from those who attacked me. And trust your cares to the Lord, and he will support us. Good morning. Good morning. This morning's Mass has been offered to us and our families in a particular bath rush. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Welcome to day two of Lent. It's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, by the way. Let us come to the Lord now to confess our sins, and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always be given from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I am enjoying on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life and death that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice, and holding fast to him. For that will mean life to you, a long life to you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers Abraham, Isaac, and David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response our song. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of henchmen, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, 
he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Well, I had yesterday all planned out. I got up really early for a holy hour on Ash Wednesday. Uh, I had two masses yesterday, one in the morning, one in the evening. And then I helped Father Andrew with the two masses he had to distribute ashes. The two of us heard confessions for about an hour and a half each during the day. I had to do my uh, email update for Lent. Uh, I wrote a couple of articles. And then I had uh, several meetings to prepare for for today. So the whole day was planned out. And I had this wonderful period of an hour and a half carved out in the afternoon for extra prayer, just to luxuriate in prayer. And that's when the Lord pulled the rug from under me. In my email box yesterday afternoon, uh, you may not know, may or may not know, I still work at the seminary. Six years after leaving the seminary, I'm still working there uh, one day a week. And I have some seminarians, and I do some other things in the seminary. And into my uh, email box pops this long article, uh, the result of some work and preparation and so forth. And it says, we need you to sign off on this, and we need this article back, like today or tomorrow at the latest. So I took a look at this and well, hopefully it'll be in good, we'll be able to say everything correct, and then I started reading it. It was terrible. It wasn't even written well. And I realized they have to rewrite this article. And I was not a happy camper. And I said, Lord, what's going to happen to my time this afternoon that I have set aside to meet with you? And he responded by saying, you don't get to pick your crosses during Lent, sorry. You can pick your penances, but you don't get to pick your crosses. And it took me a while. I was, I was angry. I was outdone. It really took me a while to come to uh, grips with the fact that this article had to be completely rewritten. And so I decided to leave my desk for a while, went outside, took a walk, walked around the church for a while, it was in the afternoon, said some prayers, pleaded with God to give me a good attitude and grace, and went back, spent two straight hours, and fixed the article. And then I sent it off last night and was able to sign off. And that's, I think, the point of today's gospel. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Now, for many of us, we have crosses of sufferings that are long-term. It may be an illness. It may be uh, taking care of a particular person. It may be a difficult job situation that we're living under. It could be all kinds of different things. Uh, the one thing about a cross is that it's usually something we did not choose, but something that was given to us. And because Jesus says daily, I think this also means that the cross isn't always just the thing that keeps going on, or that it could be, but it may be something unique that comes up on a particular day that we have to deal with when we would rather not deal with it, and we have a whole bunch of other plans. And it's about putting aside our plans, our timetable, our schedule, and most of all, our ego. And saying, just because I had all this plan and design, this is not really what God intended. And uh, sometimes that's the hardest cross of all to bear. The one where you have to put aside your ego and say, God has a better plan for me, and I will embrace it. But Jesus says, whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life in a self-dying kind of gift of love, well, for my sake, will save it in the kingdom to come. So let us uh, understand clearly this idea that we're all called to pick up crosses daily, 
and that oftentimes they won't be the cross we think it's going to be, and we uh, need to turn to God and surrender for the grace we need to do what God asks of us. Let's bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. For the church, as we enter the season of Lent, may God help each of us live in a manner worthy of all we can receive. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold great laws, may the Holy Spirit guide their decision making so as to defend and protect the right to life and conception until natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All who have left faith, may the good shepherd bring them back into the fold of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permit the active mass diocese. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to have our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in Ukraine and in Israel, for an end to war, violence, and racism, for a culture that respects life and the values of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, amen. Heavenly Father, please hear the prayers of the offer which we make in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Great sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice is yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty God. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that bestowing of us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children this sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, so that free from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as the whole ground to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, the Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring back to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostle, St. Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of my teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Let us offer each other a sign of the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank the uh, Sanctuary Society who cleans the church every Thursday after the 8 o'clock Mass. So thank, thank you all for doing that faithfully each week. Uh, tomorrow we begin Stations of the Cross. We'll have them twice every Friday in Lent. The first one will be right after the 8 o'clock Mass at 8.30. That lasts approximately 25 minutes. And then the uh, second one will be at 6 o'clock in the evening on Fridays. So we invite you to uh, uh, participate in that particular devotion plan if you are able. The Lord be with you. <laughs> May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a great day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God, with you, give me humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits, from about the world, seeking for souls. Amen.